What is up everyone and welcome to an exclusive behind the scenes vlog. Everything in my life at the moment is revolving around the Powerhack G4 series, which is exactly how it should be. So for about two weeks flat, I'm gonna be nailing this series and this is a special little vlog to show you the behind the scenes. It is Thursday today, so yesterday I released part one and the reception has been top notch, absolute top notch. So I released part one yesterday, which means I've been working on the power hack since about Monday. And that's when I started the project, roughly sort of Sunday, Monday-ish. So it's been absolutely great. And of course, I've got it all set up on the test bench next to me here. And um, you get some exclusive behind the scenes in this, in this video of what's happening, but without me revealing anything um, about the next few parts. Um, no detailed looks, nothing like that, because you'll have to wait until the next part. But this will just be a little look at, you know, a couple of little things from how it's working from my perspective, because this is one of the biggest projects I've ever done on the channel, and juggling all of my time is very difficult. But I'm getting there, and the projects are looking great. Now, as it stands on Thursday night, I do not have either part two or part three started in terms of a final cut project. But what I do have is all of the footage that I've recorded already imported, which is a very important process. Um, so of course, this will be Friday's video that you're watching now. Um, but today's video is a MacBook Pro video that I recorded last week. So um, that's good because a lot of people wanted to know about the MacBook Pro 2008. It's a great video to carry us over. Then I'm hoping I'll do the majority of the work on part two tomorrow and a little bit tonight. And I really hope that part two can become live on Monday. That would be great. Might have to do some cheeky work on part two over the weekend, but I know I've got some recording sessions. So guys, so nice to take a little look behind the scenes at such an awesome project. So taking a look at exactly what I'm doing at the moment, guys. I've got some screencasts on my MacBook Pro that I'm moving over to a pen drive ready to import into Final Cut Pro, um, ready for part number two. And that, you know, it's pretty obvious why I'm using screencasts there. This is part number one that you guys have seen already. Um, if I just actually open the project as well, then in the timeline might as well. There we go. It's just opening the project. And there it is. There is part number one. You guys have all already seen it. Absolutely awesome, awesome. Don't worry about that missing clip. You didn't miss out on anything. That's just a bit of test media that I used right at the start. Um, just for alignment purposes and whatnot. This video went down a storm and I can't believe how much you guys have enjoyed it. Um, so taking a look over in my library, you can see part number two. I do have some footage in there that I have already recorded and I do have two more parts from the screencasts to go into it, but there's a lot more to go into part two. And something very exciting is part three, which is, as you guys know, case modding. Part three is pretty much all recorded and as you can see, there is a sneaky peek right there. This is awesome. So to the people that aren't bothering to watch this vlog and whatnot, um, they're missing out on a sneaky peek of all this, all this great stuff. Um, but today is just sort of like a media management day. Um, today was actually the day that I worked on all of the case modding actually. Um, but this evening is sort of me just managing stuff. So it's already uh, half past seven. So my plan is now I would really like to get the first bit of part two filmed and then I would like to tidy my room because as you guys know I've got to actually build the system very soon and I need a workspace to do that and even though I've only prepared the motherboard and stuff between that and some of the other things I've been working on my room is a, is a complete and utter tip um, so I really need some organization, need to organize the parts into piles of, of priority and well, in what part video I'll be using them and whatnot. Um, so it would be nice to get this bit of editing done so that I can then continue filming part two tomorrow and hopefully after tomorrow all the filming for part two will be done. So that gives me um, some time on Saturday and a lot of time on Sunday to edit, to make it perfect and upload Sunday night and be live for you guys on Monday morning, which I would absolutely love. And then of course, part three is literally just a case of editing it up, so that should be uh, that should be next week as well. Hopefully, something like Wednesday, that would be really great. I don't wanna cram them too close together because I know there may be a little bit of a delay then between the build and, and maybe part five as well, but we'll see how it goes. I've got a really, I started on Wednesday and I've kind of got a little hunch that we will be done 
the majority will be done by next Friday if I really push at it. But um, I'm actually not going to push at it that hard because I'll probably upload part five a week next Wednesday. So it's exactly been a two week process. Um, so I'll upload uh, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, oh, Friday, I guess. Yeah, hmm, maybe. I don't know. We will see, guys. We will see if I can get that done, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to work a little bit on this editing, and it depends how long this has got left to transfer, actually. If this is taking ages, then I'll start tidying. I've got all the clips I need to start off with editing part two, um, which is really exciting. And one thing that I'm trying to do, um, which is something I've never done before, and that is retime the entire one hour video. Get this, guys retime the entire one hour into 30 seconds. I've never seen how it looks. It may be way too fast to comprehend and it may look atrocious, um, but I'm doing it as sort of like a previously segment at the start of the next video. So there's another little uh, surprise for you. And it isn't actually taking that long to render. Now the awesome thing is guys, um, rendering time doesn't actually bother me at all because I don't usually render any of the clips because my sequence is set so that I don't need to. Um, you know, it's just standard 30 frames a second, 1080p, um, which is great. Um, but obviously if I retime anything or um, do anything out of the ordinary, I have to render. But it doesn't take that long and of course, once this guy is up and running, it'll be even quicker. So I cannot wait for that. Um, but yeah, it's all happening as we speak. So guys, that didn't actually work, of course, because um, there are so many different lengths of shots in the first one. So what I've actually done is chopped it down to just the test bench build and boot up um, for 30 seconds at the start. And it uh, looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just rendering it with the title now. And as soon as that's out of the way, I, I can begin editing the actual video. Um, but no, I think it's quite nice for a little intro and hopefully uh, 30 seconds isn't too long for a look back. Um, it's in fast motion, so that always gives people the illusion that they're spending less time watching it than they actually are anyway. And of course, it builds anticipation for the, um, the video they're about to watch anyway. That's one thing that, um, that's only one snag I can think of with part one, is um, the motivation can be lost to watch it because of the rambling. The rambling needed to be there. Um, you know, the editing was tight, the filming was tight. But the rambling that I was doing was a little loose around the edges. Nothing major. Um, I was really pleased with the video, don't get me wrong. And I'm quite happy to watch that style every day. But the style wasn't right for everyone um, in terms of the rambling. But most people really, really enjoyed it. So as I've said, I'm, I'm really happy about that. So everyone, it's quarter to nine. And I wish it was quarter to eight. I just wish I had another hour. Something along those lines. Um, to sort this out. But... Here it is, as you can see, that is the intro and the first little section with the screencasts. And I'm going to stop there for tonight, maybe, um, because I really do need to get my room tidy in order to continue tomorrow. Either that or I'll just keep pushing this out. I'm really not too sure what I'm going to do, but either way, um, I will see you guys tomorrow in this video, which will be Friday, the same day that you're watching it now because um, I want to update you on what I do tomorrow in terms of behind the scenes Hackintosh goodness. Now I'm really pleased with this intro and how the screencasts turned out. I actually used my MacBook Pro to perform the um, preparation on the USB drive on my new Patriot USB 3.0 drive, which is a very, very quick drive, guys. I'm so pleased I decided to use this. Really, really pleased. I'm glad I took the risk and... Um, because everyone said, oh, you know, get a USB 2.0 drive. But I just wanted Unibis to install a little bit quicker, and uh, it really, di really didn't disappoint. Um, and of course, just stick it in USB 2.0 port on your motherboard, and everything works fine. Now, I'm, I can't say that for everyone, but um, yeah, you will see more in this video, of course, in this video. But editing is a slow process when I put this much effort into it. It's a bit of a pain. Um, but I am thoroughly enjoying editing these projects. I just wish I could pump them out to you guys a little bit faster. But I'm editing as fast as I can build and I'm building as fast as I can edit. So it's basically taking over my life at the moment. The only other thing that I'm really doing is um, obviously I'm going to try and have a bit more of a chill out on the weekend. But I am uh, in the cinema quite a lot, picking up quite a few shifts in order to pay for all of this stuff. So uh, I'm also doing that. But... I'll see what I do now. I'm actually thinking I'm going to continue editing a little bit just to get to a stage 
then I'll be really, really happy and uh, maybe I'll tackle my bedroom tomorrow. So it is 9.15 and I'm calling it a day for this editing. Luckily, I've used up all of my footage and I've reached a point 16 minutes into part two of the Hackintosh build and it is going great, fantastic editing. And I don't actually have any more footage at this point to work on part two. So tomorrow, there'll be a little bit behind the scenes of me actually not just preparing the Hackintosh videos, but preparing the Hackintosh itself. This stage is where I've actually reached up to in real life right now, which is always an exciting process. Now I do have a little bit more work to do to the audio in this video, in this section here, in this last section, but the front is absolutely sorted and I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. And I'm going to use the intro sequence from this probably for the part 3, 4 and 5, something very similar anyway. So guys, that is that for now. I will sign out a little bit later on in the night, but for editing, I am done. So I wasn't actually sure about doing this vlog, um, but even though it's not the longest vlog in the world and not the most in-depth, it is actually intriguing me because even though my videos are a very raw style and I talk about everything in them, you know, the last one was an hour long, um, I'm, I still get to show you little snippets of behind the scenes that you'd never get to see. And it's just a really cool, I love, I love this idea of showing you what goes on behind the scenes. And the majority of my latest vlogs have all been behind the scenes type of goodness. But what makes this one especially exciting is it's all Hackintosh related. So that is just so cool to me. And um, it's actually helping me organise myself because I'm documenting on camera what I'm doing. I'm not watching it back, but because I'm speaking out loud about my plans and stuff, it gets them all straightened out in my head and it's working fantastically. So I'm really glad about that. But one thing I'm going to do now, because it is 20 past 9, I'm going to make today's video live, which is the MacBook Pro video that you've probably all seen by now. Which is a simple little video, but um, it should be a good one. And um, yeah, an update to the video, the MacBook Pro video, should be coming in the next few weeks depending on what happens with the machine itself, but at the moment it's going okay. But anyway, I'm going to make that video public and give a shout out to the first person who comments and then move on. And we are live everyone, a little bit before half past nine. Very pleased and hello to you first three people that have commented and I've actually replied, so I'm in the first under five gang of commenting on this video, which is actually pretty cool. Um, let's do a little refresh, just to see where we're at. I always do this, guys. I always sit on the video for a while. Sit on the video for about minimum five minutes after I've uploaded it, just to make sure everything's okay. Um, I sit on it, refreshing every now and again, and obviously keeping an eye on the email inbox. Um, and various, you know, comment sections on social media, you know, well, Facebook and Twitter, so it's pretty pretty cool to keep an eye. So guys, it is time for me to call it a night, and a nice little response on this MacBook Pro video. Very pleased. Great. I'm having a really, really good week for YouTube this week. Hopefully next week is just as good. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is about nine o'clock, and, uh... I'm just about to leave for work. I'll be back at about 1 p.m. and I can make a start on today's Hackintosh journey, which will hopefully result in completion of part two filming, which would be really awesome. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So everyone, it is 11.20 and I am home, home earlier than expected, as you can probably tell. I was estimating about one. 1.30, but I've got an extra good couple of hours now, which is great, so I don't have to rush. Um, I've literally got all day. I'll probably be knackered by about 9 or 10 o'clock, but I've literally got 9, 10 hours to work on all this stuff to myself. No interruptions. Thank God. Um, now, the only thing I'm praying for is, um, by looking at my calendar, I don't have anything on but I'm not the greatest at putting everything in my calendar, so I really hope I don't get a phone call in a couple of hours saying, Tom, you ready for tonight? We've got so-and-so, so we will soon see. But this date is not ringing a bell. Friday 17th, I really don't think I've got anything tonight. So, whole day to myself. Really pleased about that. Ah, oh, brilliant. And I can have a nice chill out now. I'm going to have a nice little little rest because I've been in work this morning. Um, and then see if we can get going by about sort of 12 o'clock, something like that. 
Oh, I just, I just love this feeling. You know, it's interesting. When I first um, got out of college and started, you know, my own business and got on track with being self-employed and everything, I thought, ah, you know, the world is my oyster. I get all my own time to do whatever the heck I want. Um, and I love every piece of work that I do, you know, I, I really enjoy doing everything. But it's not quite like that. You still have to, if you've got something booked in, you have to make sure you're doing it by such and such time. Now, it's definitely not as bad as like school and college, but you know, it's still really nice to have a day like this where, where you're working really hard, but on something that you really wanna do and you've got all day to do it, which is great. So I'm really pleased about that, you know. Even if I had to pick up a shift this evening, um, I'd be in work from half past six onward, so I'd still get a good few hours in now, a good six hours in now. But it's so nice knowing that I can work into the evening if I want to, um, which is great. Now there are a couple of parcels lurking around here. I'm still waiting for a couple of things for my Hackintosh, cables and stuff, but these aren't my parcels, so that's, that's okay. 24 pin extension. Um, I got my hard drive screws through. And I can't remember what else I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for... Oh, I've ordered a USB 3.0 card reader because the input rates of my 2.0 card reader are appalling in comparison to the SD card reader on my MacBook Pro. Um, but I did get my card reader about five years ago in Maplins. Maybe more than that. So it's showing it's, it's showing its age now and it doesn't mount all the card that I put into it. So. Christ, my arm hurts quite a bit after holding this camera for a while. So everyone, it is 10 to 1 and I've had a nice long chill. I kind of figured out that if I'm working until 9 or 10 p.m. then I'm going to be full on. So I need to get started very soon. I really do. Um, and I will start by doing... I don't really know where I'm going to start, actually, because there's so many things that I have to do. You also have to get this video out for you guys today, so I need to decide when I'm going to stop recording and that. Probably stop recording around 2, 3 o'clock so I can get this out, but I'm going to start uploading vlogs in 720p because um, it'll be much more easy. I, I can then vlog up closer to the time of video release because the file size is a lot smaller, I'll be able to upload it quicker. Um, so that is cool. But of course, I'll be working on the Hackintosh project mainly today. A vlog will only take me a few minutes to stick together um, and export, so that'll be good. But first off, I need some food because I had breakfast before I went to work, but now I'm absolutely starving. So the score for the weekend is then um, pretty simple. Tomorrow, my entire day is taken up because I am recording um, a drum track. Um for a few tracks, I don't know what it is actually. And then in the night we're having a nice family barbecue, which will be cool. So then Sunday, not too sure what I'm doing, but hopefully I can work on the Hackintosh a little bit on Sunday, probably the editing and stuff to allow part two to go up Monday, and that is my main priority. And then of course, Monday is quite a full on day of work for me. Um, so it'd be nice to get a video for Tuesday made at some point as well. So I'm fairly crammed, but right now, like I said, priority is eating. Ah. I've already carried my lunch up. I actually forgot my camera. Got some nice jacket potatoes with uh, grated cheese, cottage cheese, salad cream, black pepper. One of my favorite jacket potato combinations. So we had jacket potatoes last night. So there was a load left over in the fridge. I'm quite out of breath now. But um, hang on, my door has malfunctioned. That's it, that's better. There you have it. Looks like a mess, but tastes stunning. And that is pretty much the extent of my cooking. So everyone, smack on 2 p.m. and I'm getting started right now. I've been editing the vlog that you've just seen, so that's all done. I'm getting started on the Hackintosh stuff right now. So um, just got to insert this clip at the end of Final Cut, uh, end of this project in Final Cut, leave it export while I fiddle about with the Hackintosh. And um, let me show you guys the little bit of cleaning up that I've done just to allow this next part to happen. So as you can see, quite a clear desk here. Not so bad here and there's enough floor space for me to move my tripod around and stuff but yeah it is getting pretty pretty uh crammed here and i do need to clean up properly um but right now i don't have time and just as a little clue as to what may be happening on monday guys we have a bonus ssd here okay and uh no this will not be in the system forever but i need this for part two so there's a little behind the scenes clue for you an introduction of another ssd how random eh um but yeah i'll leave you guys pondering on that and of course it has something to do with raid zero naturally 
Um, but anyway, that is it from me for this video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this sneak, very small peek um, at the behind the scenes of the PowerHack G4 project. As you can see, I'm not a professional organization or anything. I'm just me fumbling about in my bedroom trying to get things done as efficiently as possible. Um, oh, I've got a pain in my eye for some reason now. Oh, anyway, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend um, and I really hope you're looking forward to Monday's video which I really hope will be part two. I really, really do. So, have a cracking one guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in Monday's video.